Nearly one year ago, we first told you about an Horry County mom who was battling for her life after suffering an unexpected cardiac arrest. It was just hours after she and her husband attended a Tennessee Titans game in Jacksonville. The couple gaining global attention on social media, asking for prayers. Since the very beginning, ABC 15's Ma Parkhouse has been following the Prue family's journey of tweeting, hard work, healing, and praying. And tonight, she presents an in-depth special report, taking us on a journey over the past year of prayers for Alexis Prue. I remember the entire game after the game. I don't remember getting in the Uber, um, getting in the hotel. I don't remember telling him to call 911. Cardiac arrest, I don't re remember any of that. It was something I would never wish on my worst enemy. Uh, the main reason I went public with the whole situation wasn't for attention, it was for the power of prayer. January 8th, 2023, a day changing the Prue family forever. Alexis's unexpected cardiac arrest, a series of brain seizures, and her heart stopping for three minutes, putting Alexis into a coma at an intensive care unit at St. Vincent's Hospital in Jacksonville for weeks. The doctor um, came into the room and sat down, crossed his leg, and said, we need to have a discussion. There's a very good chance that your wife could be brain dead, where she might be a vegetable where she, she might be on a feeding tube her the rest of her life, might be on a vent the, or, the, or her rest of her life, and just very well not know who she is the rest of her life. You may have to make a very difficult decision if it comes to that. But as millions across the world were praying for Prue, Andrew never had to make that decision. The next day, he walked into the, the room, crossed his legs, held up her documents, and said, your wife, she's going to be fine. There is no true brain damage, and I just rejoiced and praise God. Showing brain functionality and positive progress, Alexis was soon transferred to Baptist Health in Jacksonville with doctors and equipment specializing in brain injuries. The February battle of weaning off medication and waking Alexis up from her coma, successful. I was very confused, very scared, um, didn't know anything, um, didn't know um, I had a feeding tube in a trachea. I didn't know I couldn't talk, um, walk, um, feed myself. Alexis's long road of healing began with reuniting with her family, her husband Andrew, and their then one-year-old daughter India. The very first time um, she was scared to come to me um but it was so great to see her and then once she start coming around more um and finally got used to seeing me with the tubes and everything she got comfortable laid in bed with me we just chilled it felt so great and I was very grateful to have my family all together. Sharing updates on social media throughout the way, Andrew's next big announcement, Alexis was going to rehab in Jacksonville. For us to leave Baptist and start that journey to Brooks, it was like kind of a light at the end of the tunnel. I, I was like, okay. I'm going to get up, um, start walking, push myself, and 
by the time I leave Brooks, I'll be good. Nope. <laughs> um, they push me so hard every day. Step. Step. Her physical, mental, and emotional health all put to the test. Alexa spent her days at Brooks training to strengthen her voice and her body, and her nights listening to positive songs, videos, and speakers. God was the, my biggest motivator. Then second, it was me. I felt like I had to get it together so that I could be the best wife I could be, get out of there, and Andrew and my daughter, um, Andrew never left my side. He came every single day. Good job, babe. It wasn't long before Alexis was overcoming every goal set by her doctors and herself. Where did you go? Graduating from Brooks. When I rode down and saw all of them standing there, oh my God, like I couldn't believe I made it that far. And I tell you, once I left, I was not going back. <laughs> when she rang that bell, there was no moment like that. Like, 87 days, it's, it's such a long time. So much can change, but for her to put in the work and the will and determination to get to where she was, it just kind of shows how strong she is as a woman. But with many miles still left in Alexis's healing marathon, the Prue family headed home to Myrtle Beach. Doctors explaining Alexis's cardiac arrest caused a secondary effect, an anoxic brain injury from the lack of oxygen to her brain when her heart stopped. This creating hardships with a variety of mundane daily activities. I started working with Alexis in May. So when Alexis came to us, she was in a wheelchair. She was not yet walking at home with Andrew. He was assisting her in her basic, what we call ADLs, where you're dressing and bathing, getting to and from the toilet, those types of things and she really was unable to participate in um, her child's care. Alongside ADL-focused sessions, Alexis is improving her physical strength. So we were working on a lot of just getting back and forth a little bit easier, working on core strength, getting her to, to start to stand and get stronger, and then kind of progressing from that to transferring and standing and walking. Varn and Wareheim designing exercises challenging Alexis to handle everyday tasks. Good, and pull up. I'm trying to get back to a normal life. I was a stay-at-home mom, you know, so I'm trying to get back to a point where he can get back to work and for me, I want to be able to do the stuff I used to do, which is laundry, um, cooking, you know, and just like with the cones, I want to be able to pick up all the mess that India makes every day, you know, um, or just play with her. I love to see her progress, and, and I love to see how far she's come, and I love her determination, and so I, I love that she's just like, okay, I don't, I don't care how hard it looks or how ugly it looks sometimes. I mean, therapy's not pretty. And Alexis has been determined. She practices. She's always happy to come to therapy. Yeah. She works hard when she's here, and that is huge. We don't have that with everybody, and when we do, we love it. Between her days of healing and adjusting to their oh, yeah. new life at home, Alexis and Andrew are still keeping God first. 
we pray every single night throughout the day and we go to church every single Sunday. Uh, so there's not a time that we really miss a service or a message because, I mean, we, we owe it to him, you know, and how far he's brought not just Alexis, but our entire family through every single battle along the way. Bringing together strangers and competitors to celebrate Alexis's second chance at life. Using their newfound platform to educate and help others through a new nonprofit, the Alexis Proof Foundation, which focuses on hosting free CPR training courses. Without CPR, I wouldn't be here. If she would have dropped in front of me in that hotel, I wouldn't have known what to do. When we were in Jacksonville. And the couple is looking ahead, remaining positive for what's to come as prayers for Prue continues to inspire others. With our situation, what I went through, if I were to put this out there to the public, it could help somebody uh, in a similar situation. Might not be the exact same situation, but anything that might be related um, that you could pull through it. So. Um, in the near future, I am writing a book. Um, it's going to be called A Marathon, Not a Sprint, The Alexis Proof Story. I can't fathom how much it meant to people and how far it's tracked all around the world. I do want to thank everyone who has met, met, messaged me, prayed for me. But for next year, I plan on walking without anything. Um, pray your words, and we're gonna continue to pray, and I hope to be able to get out of this wheelchair, the walker, and have me walk completely w without any support at all. And we have absolutely no doubt she will. Of course, we've all been following the story. We all know the proofs very well, so it's amazing to see how far she's come. Yeah, it's a miracle. When she says she's going to walk next year, nobody's going to bet against that Absolutely. after watching what we just saw there. And we also want to tell you about a full circle moment. The couple's favorite team, the Tennessee Titans that we mentioned, continue to be a large part of the community, showing them love and support throughout this difficult journey. And they are giving Alexis some extra motivation to get up and walking, gifting Andrew and Alexis a literal larger than life present, a fully expensed trip and tickets to the Super Bowl.